Almost one in four Americans has no emergency savings and without a cash cushion. That's terrible, because if something goes wrong, you will have to take unnecessary loans and pay high interest. Interests on credit cards are insane, they could go up to 20 or even 30%. You have to be a moron to pay that much interest. But even those who actually save money reportedly said that they don't have much in their savings account. When almost 60% of the population says that they have less than $1,000 in their savings account, you know that we have a problem, because $1,000 is probably not enough to cover even the rent. To be honest, it's difficult to save money today, because we are surrounded by so many things that are pushing us to spend. Even before the video started, you probably saw an ad that called you to visit their website and spend some cash. That's not entirely bad, because spending drives the economy forward. But we have to find some balance, so that we don't find ourselves paying a 30% interest. People often complain that they can't save, because they need to cover their basic expenses. To these people, I want to say that a Starbucks coffee is not a necessity. You can make a coffee at home for a fraction of that price. But a $4 coffee isn't the most insane thing that people waste their money on. There are other things that people waste a fortune that they could have saved otherwise. And in this video, we are going to discover 5 of them. Number 1. Bad Habits What? How is that related to wasting or saving money? You just have to take a look at how much people spend on alcohol, for example. A fortune. 20 bucks here or 30 dollars there don't seem like much, but if you add it up over the course of a month, it will amount to a significant number. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, Americans spend about 1% of their gross annual income on alcohol. For the average household, that's $565 a year, $5,650 in 10 years, and a whopping $22,600 over the course of 40 years. That doesn't seem much to some of you, but don't be fooled by this number. It takes into account all Americans, including those who don't drink and those who drink once or twice a year. So if you only take into account those who drink regularly, that number would be much higher. A few hundred dollars a month is normal for regular drinkers. The same goes for smoking, gambling and other bad habits. The average cost of a pack of cigarettes is $6.28, which means a pack a day habit sets you $188 a month, or $2300 a year. These numbers might not frighten you, but if you take into account the opportunity cost, you will probably get rid of these habits immediately. The opportunity cost basically means that what could you have done with that money if you haven't spent it on drinking or smoking? If you throw that $2300 every year into an index fund with a 7% return, with the power of compound interest, you can expect to have $490,000 in 40 years. The next time before you buy that pack of a cigarette, imagine that number in your head. Especially today, investing is super easy. You can do it with a few clicks on your smartphone and avoid commissions that investors had to pay back in the days. Investing doesn't just mean the stock market. You can learn a few skills here on the internet and work for Tesla and make more money than you can imagine. You thought you need a degree to work at Tesla? Well, you were wrong. At least that's what the man who runs Tesla said. And if you get fired for some reason, Apple will probably hire you. But wait a minute, what kind of skills do you need to get hired by such companies? programming, coding, analyzing, and understanding data. No matter what industry you are in, learning how to analyze and understand your data is critical. That's why DataCamp, the sponsor of this video, provides you with the tools to learn the data science and analytics skills you need to succeed in the real world. You want to learn a programming language such as Python or SQL, you can start with absolute basics and move up to professional levels. You can browse by topics to find out what you want to learn. Let's try Applied Finance. They have courses that will teach you different financial analysis that can help you with investing. 
You can acquire new skills fast with more than 300 courses that combine short expert videos with immediate hands-on keyboard exercises from over 250 instructors. All courses, exercises, or projects can be completed from the comfort of your browser, so you don't need to install any new software. And the best part of it is that if you sign up to DataCamp by clicking the link in the description, you will be able to check the first chapters of any course for free, and you will be supporting us to create more videos for you. And now, let's get back to the video. Smoking is of course terrible, but you know what's worse than smoking? Paying high interest rates. Credit cards are great. It's probably the best way to build your credit score and maintain it. It's extremely important because it will help you to get loans and lower interest. But here is when things get terrible. When you use a credit card to pay for things you cannot afford, what ends up happening is that you will not be able to cover your credit card debt at the end of the month and the interest starts rolling. Have you ever taken a look at how high credit card interests are? They could go as high as 20 or 30%. The interest on your mortgage would seem like peanuts in front of credit card rates. That might not seem like a big deal, but 41% of credit card users reported that they are failing to pay their bills on time. And that's what these banks are counting on. They want you to forget. No wonder why total credit card debts have risen to almost a trillion dollar nationally. So, don't ever get a credit card if you can't control your spending habits, especially if you have some really bad habits. How I keep my credit card interest free is that I know how much exactly I spent. I can use a debit card to pay all my bills and I have absolutely no problem with that. But I use a credit card because I would rather keep building my credit score. And on the last day of each month, I cover all my debt even though I might have another few weeks to do that. If you still forget to pay your debt on time, then whenever you pay your bills or cover your rent, make sure you include paying for your credit card simultaneously. One of the trends that have been rising for the last few decades is fast fashion. And you know what? I absolutely hate it. Don't get me wrong. They do make some good clothes and there is nothing wrong with buying clothes and I personally love to dress properly, I'm a big fan of fashion. But here is the problem, since the market is flooded with cheap clothes, we on average started buying more clothes than we need. Take a look at your wardrobe, do you really wear most of your clothes as often as you think? I am sure that you have 2 or 3 pairs of jeans and a few t-shirts that you wear every day. The rest of your clothes have been lying on your wardrobe probably for years. And like everyone else, you have clothes that you never wore, but you thought you need them when you were shopping. The trend has become so popular that some people shop every week. That's insane. What I hate about it is that just because the clothes are cheap, you end up buying more clothes than you need. The question is, why buy a lot of low quality cheap clothes? Instead of having 10 or 20 pairs of jeans, just get yourself 2 high quality jeans that you will feel comfortable wearing and you would look much better and you will end up spending a lot less. That's not the worst way humanity is wasting money. No matter how many clothes you buy, they definitely won't harm you as the next thing on our list. Eating garbage. What? Who eats garbage? Unfortunately, most people literally eat nothing but garbage, because most of what's sold on the shelves of grocery stores is made out of harmful ingredients in many ways. And if you consider the fact that fast food has become the new norm for years already, you can imagine how much garbage people are eating. People spend most of their money on food, and there is nothing wrong with that, but at least consume quality food that isn't harmful to your body. Almost all junk food that's sold are filled with different types of sugar to boost your dopamine when you consume it and create a sense of addiction so that you come back for it again and again. And that's done purposefully. So we end up developing a habit of always eating junk food, Snickers bar, chips or soft drinks. Some studies even say that 
a lot of people spend almost 90% of their income on food, which is absolutely insane. And lastly, unnecessary monthly subscriptions. Businesses realize that it's much better to sell you a subscription that costs a few dollars a month than a product with a few hundred dollar price tag. First, you aren't going to hesitate that much since it's just $10 a month, especially if you enter your credit card information now. You will get the first month for free, but later on you will completely forget about it. But the company will keep charging you forever. There is nothing wrong with getting subscriptions you use or need. But when you sign up for the gym but then end up visiting it once or twice a year, I don't think you need to renew your annual membership. 84% of Americans are unaware of how much they spend on subscription services. Have you realized that everything has recently turned into a subscription? Music, video, movies, apps, games, softwares. Every few months audit your spendings and get rid of these unnecessary subscriptions because you will end up paying a fortune for something you don't even use. And that's our list of insane ways people waste money they worked so hard to earn with blood and sweat. And now it's your turn, what would you add to this list? How do you waste money? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're new around here. And if you want to be notified whenever we upload, hit the bell button. Thanks for watching and until next time.